Hey guys, welcome to day 135 of my carnivore journey. I've got a lot of information for you guys, so hang in there. I'm going to try to get through everything as fast as possible. And there's a lot of good things. Um, okay, so first of all, um, a change in my diet. I didn't want you to think like, oh God, he's quitting. Like, yeah, I wasn't trying to clickbait you. I really am changing up my diet a little bit. Um, and what I mean by that is after, you know, watching some more stuff, you know, I'm always trying to gather intel and, you know, the, the, the water start getting a little muddy when you get to that beef, butter, bacon and eggs. And then how much dirt do you want to have in there? Some people do this. Some people do that. Some people are just meat, salt and water, like lion diet. You know, you start getting a little murky, right? Um, as you guys know, I've been having my one pound burgers um, with uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Um, and of course, sometimes dashes of hot sauce, but I, I've really been getting away from the hot sauce on in the burger. And, um, and I also put an egg in there. Now the egg, um, the, the pepper, by the way, is white pepper. Just, I mean, I know it doesn't make much difference, but white pepper does have less oxalates than black pepper. So anyways, um, and of course you guys know, I also have my regular <laughs> tall cup of coffee. I don't know if you can see how full it is. That's, it's not full to the brim, but anyways. That's my, um, I usually have a 20 ounce cup of coffee with a splash of heavy cream and four drops of iodine. It used to be three. I've bumped it up to four in the last like maybe week or so. Um, again, just inching my way up to do a little more iodine. Now, there has been some back and forth on iodine. Uh, there's been some long-term carnivores. I want to say Laura Spath. Uh, I think, is that how you say her last name? Spath or Spath? Spath. Anyways, she, um, she's, she's been what, a six year carnivore. And she did like iodine for like a couple months. And then I think she was getting some blood test results back from it. I don't remember if that all happened or whatnot. Again, these are just things that like I'm pulling off the top of my head from the various videos I see. Um, but again, there's debate because it's like, how far do you go before there's a problem? Or are you getting iodine in those meats and stuff? Because we don't always know exactly where our meats come from. Like when we're getting them from the store, I mean, they could be from areas that have iodine in the grass, that the cows eat or whatever, whatever they're fed. Um, but I'm pretty sure uh, back in the day, we didn't have iodine drops <laughs> yeah, in in our stuff. So we were getting iodine from somewhere, and we weren't always living on coastlines. So again, like I said, iodine is a little bit of up and down, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it for now. So anyways, changing my diet. So what am I going to change? Well, one, guys, when I get done with this batch of heavy cream, I have, you know, uh, one of the, the tall, like, uh, what is it like a, a quarter gallon kind of thing? Um, the uh, heavy cream. So I use that for a splash of coffee. It's about it. I don't haven't been using it for much more. So I'm going to keep drinking coffee until that runs out. Once that runs out, I'm actually going to stop drinking coffee again. I did it for a week, not that long ago, but um. I'm going to, I'm hoping that'll be the last sort of plant-based product in my system. What I'm also starting to do is I'm, I'm going to wean myself down from garlic and onion powder and pepper and probably even hot sauce, right? My goal is to try to get to just salt, meat, butter, and, and, you know, uh, what is it? eggs? Did I say eggs? Bacon, maybe. Now, bacon, I haven't been eating a lot of. I haven't been making it in batches. It's just not something. I've mostly been meat, eggs, and salt and butter. So I've really been starting to omit the bacon part of bbb and &E. um, And I've heard a lot of other people starting to get away from bacon as well, uh, which is fine. Like I said, if you're eating bbb and &E, 
and you're still, like I said, you're still having bacon. Look, I ain't going to complain. All right. But for me, on day 135, I just find myself less and less with bacon and more with just like beef, eggs, and butter. Um, And the eggs are sort of, I don't know, like they're not even every day, but I do put one in my burger. So in a way, kind of, yes, I had my one pound burger and two eggs, but technically three eggs because I did actually have a, a an egg in the burger. So what I did, I had one pound, 80, 20 grass fed, grass finished ground beef, and I put one egg in it and it was pretty wet though. It, 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 again, you know, it is what it is, but I took the egg and, oh, and I did like three quarter of a teaspoon. Basically, I didn't do a full teaspoon, but I didn't do a half. I did like three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, like Redmond's uh, coarse salt and sprinkled it onto my stuff. I mushed it all with hand, just just sat there and worked the meat, mushed it all up uh, and, and try to mush all the clumps and, and mash it all up with my hands real good. And then I made it into the uh, patty and the burnt in the bottom of the bowl and grilled it up. And put three pieces of butter on one side when it was cooking, just like I do normally, guys. Flip it over, put three more pieces of of butter on the other side, and let that melt and cook. Um, Anyway, so I had my one-pound burger, and I had two additional over-medium eggs, which I cooked in the grease of the burger and everything else, like the butter and drippings from the the burger. Um, So... That's all I did. I just pulled the burger off the the grill, and l- while the burger was just resting that little bit, cracked a couple eggs, let them cook for a second, flip flipped them, like I said, over medium, put them with my burger, and there you go. And it was really good. So I I you know did I kind of miss the garlic and onion and stuff flavoring? Yeah, I mean I missed it a little bit, but was it bad? No. It was still meat and salt, and I had the eggs. Um, I did have a little bit of Frank's Red Hot toward the end for like three or four bites. But, you know, I'm really trying to to also wean myself off that. So my goal with changing my diet is I'm going to try to get back to just doing beef, butter, bacon, eggs, um, and salt. I'm going to try to get away from garlic and onion, and I'm going to try to get away from coffee. My goal is like the garlic and onion every once in a while I may do. It depends. I'm going to try my best. But by the time I get done with my coffee, I'm going to try to be weaned off all of the any 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 kind of that kind of dirt. Okay, now for some announcements. So there's a couple big things. Now, I know I've been telling you guys like, oh, I got stuff coming in the works, coming in the works. Let me, let me kind of, first of all, tell you guys why I haven't been. The reason why you haven't been seeing me do some additional content, like some recipes. So I know Kathy was suggesting that I did my recipe stuff like in a separate uh, playlist. That way, if you guys want to refer back to some of what I eat, like some of the way I cook it, um, my little recipes or my take on the recipes. A lot of them, there's a lot of them are versions of other people's or whatever. But if you want my take on it, I'm going to, I'm actually going to go through and film those separately than my daily vlogs. And I'm going to put them in the, in a special folder, a playlist for you guys. Okay. The reason why I haven't done that yet is because I'm in the process of moving. So you guys won't see this studio back here soon. Eventually, I'm going to be moving and I'll have to set up shop and and set up my new studio and all that. So, again, it's going to take me a little time. That's why I'm I'm like holding off because I'm trying to find a place right now. And then once I secure a place, I'm going to be moving very quickly. Oh, um, when that happens, and I get settled in my new place. That's when I'm going to be doing additional filming and doing the recipe videos now. That's that. So again, so if you're waiting on new content, hang in there. I'm going to, 